Hey everybody, it's Amber with Little Mouse Arts, and today we're going to be learning how to make custom photo frames with the help of Canva and Photopea. The whole process is not as hard as you think it is, and it is completely 100% free. You do not need Canva Pro for this, nor do you need um, Photopea Pro or whatever. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. This is an example that I created. It is the entire USA map minus Puerto Rico as a territory. <laughs> These are all individual frames and you can grab it in the description below. But for the sake of this, we're gonna be doing two things. We're gonna show you how to do multi-layer SVGs like that one. So it's multiple things essentially in one and a single one as well. So we're gonna do the hard one first. So I'm gonna head on over to Photo P and we're gonna click on file and open and then import our multi-layer SVG. Now, where you get this from is up to you. Just make sure it is multi-layer, I guess, depending on what project you're doing. Um, this is Europe as an example. So as you can see here, all of the European countries are their own layer. And to make it a Canva frame, you're gonna get back to file, click on open and place. And then we're just gonna pick a random color or literally any random photo to import on top of it. Once you've imported your photo, you're gonna drag it to fit the entire screen. That way every single layer is covered. And for multiple, this is gonna be a little bit more of a hassle, but you're gonna click on your picture layer. And now I'm on a Mac, so for me it's gonna be com er, um, control and then clicking on it but basically left click and then you're gonna turn it into a clipping mask, okay? And so this clipping mask has clipped to the layer underneath it. And now you're gonna click on that pink one, control and paste, and you're gonna keep dragging that and just keep repeating that process and adding it to every single layer. And eventually you'll see it start to fill. Because this is Europe, this map is a little bit intense, but I hope you get the point. Basically keep dragging and dropping until you have done it for every single layer. Now you can see every single layer on the map has a photo on it. And now we're gonna export it as a PSD. This is very, very important. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. And now Canva makes it difficult sometimes to upload PSDs for some reason. So for example, when I go here, upload files, it might say this file is not allowed, but for some reason it worked. And if it doesn't work, just open it in a new window in your file opener and then drag it over to Canva and it should work. Now, depending on what you chose to make your custom frame, this part might be a little tedious, but you're gonna click on every single element of your frame and you're gonna detach the image. You can also click on it and hit backspace one time and that will remove the image from the template. As it gets smaller, it's definitely more difficult. So you can also click on position and then scroll through and remove any pink parts that you see. So you'll have to just click on those manually and detach it. Once you have removed your photo layer from all of them, you can start to see the frame coming together. But you'll see here on the left and the layers, each of these still has its original SVG layer underneath it. So just go ahead and delete those and make sure not to accidentally delete the frame. You can tell if it's a frame if you see the little generic cloud background because that is Canva's photo placeholder. All right, I'm gonna change the background color that way you can clearly see it. But now we have created our Europe map. And just to test it out, we can go ahead and go to photos and it definitely works. We're able to drag and drop anything into our frames. And then if you wanna save this, you could group it together um, that way it all moves together. I highly recommend doing that just because it's probably going to be a pain if you lose something. So there's your Europe map. Now, say you want to do something a little easier, like a recurring text where you want to add glitter to it, for example. We could type in our name as an example. And let's pick a good text. So I think something maybe bubbly would look good here. Now, since we're creating this one in Canva, this is going to be a single SVG, but we'll do two examples. So we'll do one single SVG and then one multi-layer again. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna export these both as SVGs. This does require a pro account, but I will show you a way how to do it for free as well. So transparent background, and we're gonna save both of those. 
The way to do this if you don't have Canva Pro is just download it as a normal PNG and then go to picksvg.com. It is completely free. You're going to upload your picture and it will turn it into an SVG. And for this, we want the letters to be filled. So we're going to change it to internal. And you're just going to have to mess around with this and see what you like and then download SVG. And so that automatically downloads with a transparent background as well. Then we're gonna go back to Photo P and we're gonna do the same thing basically again. So open and then you can choose your SVG that you made in Canva and this saves it as multiple. And then we're basically gonna repeat the process. So you're gonna go to file, open and place and then place your photo on top of everything again. And then we're going to clipping mask it. And then we're going to save as a PSD again. Now we're going to go back into Canva and upload that and detach our image. And there you have it. My name is now a frame. How fun. And one photo will basically cover it. And I'll show you that in a second. But remember, since we created this single layer in Canva, there's going to be a layer behind it. So just move your photo layer and then delete that. And now you have your frame. And to test it out, let's grab some cloud and it automatically fills it we can put anything we want into this and literally the options are now endless i think this is such a cool feature and i'm really excited to see what you guys come up with so if this was helpful feel free to drop a like subscribe for more tutorials and i look forward to seeing you in the next one thanks for watching